European eels are fish with one pair of small pectoral fins and long, snake-like bodies. As catadromous fish, European eels spend most of their adult lives in freshwater rivers, streams, and estuaries before returning to the open ocean to spawn and lay eggs. As young larvae, baby eels drift around the sea for between seven months and three years. They are normally around 60 to 80 centimeter long and rarely reach more than one meter. This fish only reproduce once in their lifetime and to complete this task, it has to travel almost 16,000 kilometers to the Sargasso Sea, a huge area of deep ocean east of the Bahamas. European eels go through several easily recognizable life stages on their journey to adulthood. As larvae, eels are known as leptocephalus because of their thin heads and wider bodies that give them a leaf-like shape. As their bodies become larger and more translucent, the fish become known as glass eels. Next, as the eels enter freshwater systems, they transform again, gaining pigmentation and becoming known as elvers. For the next 6 to 20 years, the eels put on weight and length while also developing lemon-colored undersides. This is what's known as the yellow eel stage. Yellow eels travel continuously upstream toward cooler less salty water until they become reproductively mature. Finally, the fish transform again into silver eels, with a metallic sheen and large eyes, at which point they migrate thousands of miles back out to the Sargasso Sea, where the animals spawn, lay eggs, and die. Much of the European eel's life cycle while out at sea remains a mystery. European eels can be found from the northern reaches of Russia and Finland all the way down to the coasts of Morocco, Egypt, and even within the Black Sea. This species is nocturnal and secretive, preferring to burrow into mud and under stones during the day. At night, European eels emerge to feed on a variety of food sources, depending on their life stage. Their diet can include everything from other fish to mollusks and crustaceans, to even insects, worms, and carrion. European eels are strong swimmers, but they have impressive climbing skills, too, allowing them to navigate obstacles such as dams in their upstream journeys. There are even reports of European eels leaving the water altogether and entering fields, where the species feasts on slugs and worms. By some estimates, European eel numbers have declined to less than 1% of historic levels. As such, the International Union for Conservation of Nature lists the species as critically endangered. Interestingly, scientists have yet to pinpoint one major threat that can be attributed to the European eel's decline. There is, however, evidence to suggest that many different factors may have each taken a toll. Barriers to migratory routes, such as dams and hydroelectric turbines, are one likely cause. Studies have also pointed toward climate change, diseases and parasites, habitat loss, pollutants, and predation as threat factors. Exploitation of the eels for food is another concern, as the species was once a staple in local communities across the continent. The species has also been exported to Asia to supplement markets there. In 2007, European Union member states instituted environmental management programs designed to make sure at least 40% of silver eel stocks were able to make it back to the sea when it came time to mate. In 1997, Innovating Network in the Netherlands initiated a project where they attempted to get European eels to breed in captivity by simulating the 6,500 km journey from Europe to the Sargasso Sea with a swimming machine for the fish. The first to achieve some success was DTU Aqua, a part of the Technical University of Denmark. Through a combination of fresh and salt water, as well as hormones, they were able to breed it in captivity in 2006 and make the larvae survive for five days after hatching. By 2007, DTU Aqua scientists were able to set a new record where the larvae survived for 12 days by feeding the mother eel with a special arginine-enriched diet. 